All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another chance for us to focus on ourselves, on our bodies, to strengthen ourselves as we progress through the week here. All right. Well, once again, if you're new to our BFit Live programs, this is a chance for you to set aside some time, less than uh, about 30 minutes worth of work here. Uh, today, we have some hybrid movements for you today. So we have some cardio-based movements and some resistance-based movements for you to tackle a strength building and cardio building um, regimen for you. All right, before we get started though, let me introduce my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you, to do How are you doing today, ma'am? And also shout out to the Air Force shirt that you have on. Hey, good morning, Roy, thank you. Yeah, I thought I'd represent my team a little bit this morning. Um, and actually, I'm sure you won't believe this, but I'm pretty sure this is a shirt I was issued in basic training. And if it's not the, the shirt, it's the style of shirt. So um, what I wanted to do for our um, BFIT viewers today is challenge them to see if they can guess what year I went into basic training. So good luck. Awesome. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> You heard it, team. You heard it, BFIT Nation. Let us know in the comments below if you can guess what year Senior Master Sergeant Barry's basic training shirt is from, all right? Leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know, guess the year, as well as let us know where you're joining from, okay? Let us know if you are indoors, like Sergeant Barry, or if you are in some sort of facility like myself, or if you're outdoors, taking this training outdoors, enjoying the weather, enjoying uh, whatever climate uh, gets uh, hosted your way wherever you're at. Make things fun. Uh, most importantly, make things fun for today. So with our BFIT lives, our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. All right. Four movements that we'll go through. And then we will go through each of those movements for four rounds and then one minute, one minute rest, excuse me, in between each round. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four movements, four rounds and one minute rest in between each of those rounds, giving us time to kind of uh, reset, rehydrate, recover, and then hit that next round nice and hard. Okay. So with that, let's go through the movements here. I like to demo each movement. That way we know exactly what we're going to tackle through today's workout. Once again, it's a, it's a hybrid workout. So we are tackling both resistance-based movements and cardio-based movements. So you'll see some plyometrics, some jumping, as well as some movements that are geared just to focus on a uh, specific muscle group. So when you're lifting, uh, if you have any dumbbells, go ahead and grab those, okay? If you do not have any dumbbells, perfectly fine. Each of these movements can be controlled and completed without any resistance, okay? Um, if you wanna get creative, grab something with a handle that you have around the house or within your facility and challenge yourself that way, all right? So let's get started here, kick off our workout for today, all right? Exercise number one, we have 10 jacks and two lateral lunges, all right? So find the center of your space here. You do not need much more than uh, a small portion of area, but we have 10 jacks, all right? So we're gonna go into 10 jumping jacks, and out of that, you're gonna go into two lateral lunges, okay? 10 jacks, two lunges, and then repeat. So from those 10 jacks, out of those 10, find your center here of your space. Lateral lunge to the left, okay? Couple of notes here. Your toes want to be aligned and fixed forward. Okay, so keeping those tones, those toes pointed forward, you are going to shift that weight over to your right or left side. We're going to hit both sides here, pushing those hips back. That knee is going to track over your front toe. Okay, keeping that chest up and that head looking straight ahead. Arms in front of you here, out to the left. Extend back up to starting position. Out to the right or vice versa. Back to starting, and then we have ten jacks. All right. The jacks keep our heart rate elevated and then control that lateral lunge to the left and then to the right. All right. After that, grab some resistance here. We have, we have a bicep curl into a squat. Okay. So with our feet shoulder width apart here, soft bend at those knees, we are going to push those hips back and down into our squat, kind of like a suitcase squat here, nice and compact into that squat, keeping that chest up. Those glutes and those hips go back. Once again, those front knees are tracking over your toes, okay? Out of that squat, extend back up, drive up through your heels, through your quads. From there, bring those dumbbells into a bicep curl, okay? Extending back down into our squat, control this movement into our bicep curl. So a bicep curl into a squat or squat into a bicep curl. 
All right, exercise number three, we have a reverse lunge to an overhead press. So sticking with resistance here, we are going to front rack them, meaning our dumbbells are gonna be close to our shoulders here. Nice tall stance, proud chest into that reverse lunge, dropping that rear knee down, hovering over the floor. Front knee is tracking over our toes, right? Extending those hips back and down. That front leg should hit just about that 90 degree bend from there, extend up to standing position. And then we are into an overhead press. Control that overhead press, control that reverse lunge, all right? Slow tempo here, nice control movement. Think about form quality over the amount of reps that you are attacking, all right? So that's gonna be exercise number three with that reverse lunge to overhead press. Exercise number four, we are bringing it down to the ground with funny name, but serious core engagement here, a dead bug, okay? So with this movement here, we are going to extend and lie on our back here. Our knees are gonna be 90 degree bend here. So think about, your, think about sitting in a chair right here, but we are down on the floor. Make sure to keep your ankle dorsiflex. So your flex, that toe is gonna to be pointed up towards the ceiling, all right? Back is on the floor, head is going to be supported on the floor. Hands are straight up, all right? We are going to extend left leg, all right? Make sure it's hovering just about six to 12 inches above the floor. Right back to starting position at that 90 degree bend. Then right leg extends out, okay? Keeping your core nice and tight as you extend those legs, okay? First two rounds, legs only, okay? Second two rounds, we are going to scale it up a bit. Opposite hand and opposite leg are going to extend straight out, pausing at the bottom, exhaling, and then bringing yourself back to starting position, making sure that your knees and legs stay at that 90 degree bend, okay? Try to keep your focus there as well as keeping your core tight and engaged at all times for the 40 seconds of work. So that's gonna be that fourth exercise with a dead bug. That's gonna round out our programmed workout. Once again, if you're new to BFIT Live, we have a just under 30 minute workout for you today. We have four movements that we're gonna go through. We have our timing of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Four rounds of those four exercises and then one minute rest in between each round. All right, team, let's leave us a note in the comments below. Carla, good morning to you. Jerome, good morning, good to see you. Good to see you, team. All right, Sergeant Barry, we look good. We look primed, we look ready to go with our basic training shirt. Drop us a note on the year that we think Sergeant Barry's t-shirt is from basic training. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump into some dynamic stretches right now to get our minds and our bodies prepared and ready to work. All right, so dynamic stretches, just to start us off with, we're gonna take that right leg. We are going to extend it back towards our hips. That opposite hand is going to go straight up to the ceiling here, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your hip flexors, in your quad, and with that overhand reach, a little bit of a stretch in your mid to upper back and your shoulders, okay? We're gonna get our bodies prepared and ready to work. Alternate at your pace here, feeling out your body, feeling out how we feel today. Each day is different. So you may be a little tighter today than you were yesterday or last week. Give yourself this time to really stretch out specific muscle groups that you may need, okay? You can go at our pace or we will go at just under uh, 30 seconds for each one of these movements, okay? So finishing up the last two, one here, last one for me. All right, reverse lunge with an overhead reach. We're gonna come to the top of our workout space. We are gonna extend one leg back. This is going to mimic that reverse lunge that we are gonna go into for exercise number three. So we're gonna get warm with that reverse lunge back to standing position, all right? Opposite, alternate, overhead reach and extending whichever leg is leading forward, that's the direction that you wanna to lean towards. You're gonna to feel that stretch in your lats. Good. Back to standing position here, warming up our lower body here with that reverse lunge. Nice standing position, focus on our breathing. Good. Just a few more here, last two up. Rotation here, with that overhead reach up and a reach. Good, good, good. All right, let's go into some lateral lunges. We have some lateral work for today. So let's warm up with some lateral lunges. Our feet are gonna be fixed straight ahead here. We're gonna shift our weight to the right and then shift our weight to the left, okay? 
Nothing too aggressive here. We just want to warm up again our lower body as well as our inner thighs here. You can feel that stretch within your inner thigh, keeping that head up, keeping that chest up as you laterally shift to the left, to the right. Go at your own pace here. If you need to sit into that lateral lunge just a little bit longer, give yourself that pause, give yourself a little bit more space there to really open up those hips. All right, last two, last one. All right, team, let's go into some inchworms. We're gonna go to the back of our workout space, getting our core primed up and ready to work. So back of your workout space here, we're gonna reach down towards our toes. You're gonna feel that stretch in your hamstrings. From here, you're gonna walk out to a high plank position, trying to keep those legs as straight as possible, okay? High plank position here, keep your core tight, pausing at the top, and then extending back up, extend, or and retracting, 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 back up to standing position, all right? Then you wanna extend down, touching our toes once again into our high plank position here, giving yourself a pause. And then retracting back to toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings. And once again, feeling our spine, just roll back to standing, right? Rolling back down once again, touching our toes. Focus on our breathing here, hands underneath shoulders with that high plank position. Good, 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 good. Back to standing here. Last one for today. All right. Back into that last inchworm here. Dropping down high plank position. <sighs> Keeping that core tight. Good. Retracting back. Touching our toes. Feeling that stretch in our hamstrings. Back up to standing position. All right, team. We are good. We are ready to work here. Let's go ahead and grab that water. Grab that towel. And then we will get started with our work as I start our timer. All right, Sergeant Barry, any clues? We should, I feel like our team needs clues here. Clues. <laughs> uh, it wasn't this decade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. Well, here we go, here we go, here we go. 10 seconds here. We have 10 jacks and two lateral lunges to kick us off with in six seconds here. All right, grab that last bit of relaxation here in two, one, 10 jacks and two lateral lunges for 40 seconds here. All right, let's go at our own pace. I'm out at nine and 10, back to center. Control those lateral lunges here. Really extend back up, drive up through that outside and that heel back up to standing. And then you have 10 jacks, all right, 10 jacks. Not taking up too much space here with these movements. Out in 10 seconds. Last five here, and then we will have a 20 second break. And time resting for 20 seconds here, and then we are jumping into a bicep curl with a squat. Let's lower this. Good, good. Grab any resistance you may have. Lower body, upper body combo here. Squat to a bicep curl in three, two, one. Here we go, team, with that squat. Nice controlled movements, thinking about pushing those hips back and down, driving up to standing position, right? Nice controlled movements here. Think about your form, thinking about that chest, staying up nice and proud. Good, 20 seconds here. We are halfway through this movement. 13 here. Good, control your movements, control that bicep curl, tucking in those elbows close to our torso. Out in five seconds here. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds of rest. Stay with that resistance. We have a reverse lunge to overhead press. Coming up in 12 seconds, if you need that water, stay hydrated, you need that towel, wipe it off here. Let's get ready to go in five seconds. Reverse lunge to overhead press, front rack position here. Two, one, top of your workout space here. Into that reverse lunge, that front knee is tracking over our toe. Over that front toe, good. Nice 90 degree bend at our legs with that reverse lunge. Keeping on our heel. Once again, nice controlled movement here. 20 and out with that overhead press. 
We can stick with the reverse lunge. If we need to scale back, we can eliminate the overhead press. Or we can keep with it. Last five seconds here, team. Out in three, two, one, and time. Last rep. There you go. Get it in. <laughs> 15 seconds here, and we're into dead bugs, all right? Dead bugs here. Eight seconds here. We are on the floor. Up in three, two, one. Here we go. Dead bugs to kick us off on our last movement here. Hands are straight forward, straight up. Make sure to bend those knees at that 90 degree. Make sure our ankle is flexed facing the ceiling, facing the top, top of your space here. Keeping our core tight, focus on our breathing as well. Deep breath out as you extend that leg. Deep breath in as you bring it back up to you. That will help keep your core contracted. Nice and tight head is pushed back into the floor. Last two seconds, one last rep and time. Good job, team. Good job, good job. Who's still with us? Who is with us? All right, good to see you, Julie. Once again, if you are just joining us, if you are just new to our BFIT Live program, welcome. All right, today we are hosting a hybrid of cardio and resistance-based movements to get your heart rate elevated, to keep you active, to start off your week nice and strong, okay? We have four different movements for you today. If you have any resistance, if you have any dumbbells, okay, let's go ahead and grab those. We are one round in out of our four rounds, all right? Once again, our timing for today, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four movements and one minute rest in between each round. We have 16 seconds here, and then we are back into our 10 jacks and two lateral lunges. All right, stay hydrated here, up in five, team, up in five. Let's go team, three, two, one. All right, 10 jacks and two lateral lunges. Good, nice control with those lateral lunges, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Give myself an extra one there. All right, back into those 10 jacks. Sergeant Barry, looking good, looking good, looking strong. Out in seven, team. Last five. Out in three, two, one. All right, first movement is down. Round two, here we go. Bicep curl with a squat coming up. Grab our resistance here. We have 10 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, up in five. Squat to bicep curl, three, two, beginning. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. I'm gonna drive up through your heels, through our quads. Think about those muscle groups that we are working today. Back to standing position into that bicep curl. Really challenge ourselves here, 20 seconds. 20 seconds and out. Out in 10. If you remember basic training for yourself, let us know. Let us know what your favorite part of basic was. BMT, out in two. One and 20 seconds of rest here. Stick with those resistance, stick with those dumbbells. We have reverse lunges to an overhead press. Sergeant Barry, that, that's a good question. Do you have any favorite parts to be basic for yourself, to BMT? I think basic training is where I really started to embrace a healthy lifestyle because I, I wasn't in good shape when I joined basic training. So <laughs> it got so me into shape really quick. That's a good point. 30 seconds on the clock left. It's a good point. Um, basic training can help, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of individuals start a healthier lifestyle if, it's, if they're not used to moving in a specific way or having a specific schedule that they follow. Same can be um, said for anyone outside in the civilian sector, keeping up with that schedule, last five seconds, being disciplined enough to really go through your week, start it off two, one and time. <laughs> you know, it can really help 
bring a disciplined uh, workout active regimen into your lifestyle. So great point there, great point. Nine seconds here. All right, we are back on the ground here. Exercise number four, dead bugs. Working on a core here, back is flat, head is pushed back, hands are up, extending all the way out with your leg to the left and right leg, 90 degree bend here. Good, really think about contracting that core, but also that leg as it extends, your glute is firing, your quads are firing, keeping that ankle flexed. Hands are straight up to the ceiling. Head is pushed back, last eight seconds here. Good. Last three, two, one, and time. Team, 60 seconds of rest here, and then we will jump into round three. Make sure and grab that water, stay hydrated. So Roy, you asked me for a clue earlier. So I was trying to do math in my head to remember who the president was at the time. Pretty sure it was Bill Clinton. <laughs> that helps me. And yeah, you know, I think that narrows our time frame down <laughs> to a good eight years. <laughs> that just makes me really old. That's what that does. <laughs> Not at all, not at all. You know, I, I like to say, you know, as a body in motion stays in motion. And what's great about keeping a workout regimen is no matter how old you are or how young you are, you know, as long as your body is moving, it's so much easier to stay in that active lifestyle. 10 jacks, two lateral lunges coming up in three seconds, team. Stay with us here, stay with us. Two, one, here we go. 10 jacks, two lateral lunges. Get that full extension on the arm here. Make the most of these jacks. Out of there. Pushing those hips back, keeping that chest up into those lateral lunges, two to be exact. Then you're back up into 10. Nice, strong movements. Good. Out in 12 seconds here. Drive up from that lateral lunge, pushing yourself back up to starting position. There we go. And rest, rest, rest. Oh, rest. <laughs> I know, I was in the groove here. We have eight seconds here. Grab that weight, grab that weight. Let's challenge ourselves. If we can scale up, let's do it, team, for the three and fourth round. Bicep curl to squat. 40 seconds on the clock. Keeping our chest up, nice compact movement with that squat. If we need to drop the weight, let's do it team. Let's focus on that lower body movement with that squat. Good. Nice, strong bicep curl. Those elbows are tucked in close to our sides. Good. Out in five seconds. Last three, two, one time. 20 seconds here. Rest, recover, hydrate, wrap, catch that breath. Thank you. Reverse lunge into an overhead press coming up next. <laughs> All right, team, we are back up in two, one, reverse lunge to that overhead press, front rack position. Here we go. Take your time with these resistance based movements here, dropping that rear knee down. If it's not as low as myself or Sergeant Barry, Let's go to our comfort level, okay? Stand back. We want to eliminate that overhead press, scale down. Let's do it, team. Stay with us here. 15 and out. Chest is up, nice and proud. Elbows rolled, elbows, elbows tucked in underneath our bi biceps, underneath those dumbbells. And last three seconds here, two, one, and time, 20 seconds on the clock here to rest, rest, rest. Coming up on our last movement here for round number three, dead bugs. All right, this time we are going to take that opposite hand, opposite knee, leg, and extend both out. And two, one, 90 degree bend here at the legs, opposite hand, 
Opposite leg extends out, right back up to starting position. Right hand extends out straight, left leg extends out straight. Keeping that ankle flexed, toe is pointed up to the ceiling, hands are up to the ceiling. Your knee is driving up to the ceiling. Deep breath in on the way down. Deep breath out, exhale on the way up. That leg is landing a few inches up from the ground. Last seven seconds here. Good. And in three, two, one, and time. <laughs> All right, how was that modification? How do we do scaling up with that? It took me a minute to get the coordination down, but I think I got it, we'll see. <laughs> it is, you know, what's, what's great about the coordination movements is it really forces us to think mentally how our body is reacting to our cues. If it's a right hand going out and our left leg going down, it's just working us on both ends here, not only physically, but mentally focusing us, forcing us to focus on the way our body is moving. So a great benefit in both aspects of mental and physical work. 18 seconds of rest here. Catch your breath, team. Catch your breath. Let's get that breath under control. 10 jacks and two lateral lunges. This is our best round, Sergeant Barry. What goes on with our best round? It's our best round. Yes, our best round is coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. 10 jacks and two lateral lunges, making it our best. If we can scale up any of these movements, let's do it, team. If it's more weight, if it's a faster pace, faster, quicker tempo, let's do it. If you're into that lateral lunge, we are warm now. So if we can extend a little lower, let's get into it. Really driving up through our quads, through our heels, keeping that chest up. Stronger jacks out in 10 seconds. Really working out with a purpose here on each of these movements. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, bicep curl to squat. Bicep curl to squat. Coming up team, grabbing my weight here. Hold on to your weight, you are with it. The next two movements. All right, we are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Into that squat, drive up, chest is proud. Shoulders are rolled back with that bicep curl. Elbows tucked in close to our torso. Hands are beside us, palms are facing us. Rotate up towards your face with that bicep curl. Good. Out in 17 here. How are we doing, team? Keep with us, stay with us. Drive up through your heels. Last eight seconds here. Out in five, four, three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Stay with some resistance. We have that reverse lunge to overhead press coming up. Good, 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 team. Stay with us, stay with us. I see you in the comments here. Eight seconds, seven seconds here. Reverse lunge to overhead press coming up for exercise number three, movement number three. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's do it, team. Good. Good, really take your time with that reverse lunge. Drive up, mind and muscle connection. Think about our quad driving us up to standing position. 20 and out here. Exhaling on the way up, out of that press. Last 10 seconds. Last round, best round, out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Drop that weight, we are on the ground. Dead bugs to finish us out. Our last and final movement here in 10 seconds. Let's get ready. Remember opposite hand, opposite leg extends out straight. Pushing that back and that head into the ground, 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go, opposite hand, opposite leg, extend out nice and straight, nice and controlled. <sighs> Keeping our core tight, our hips once again, squared to the floor, squared to the ceiling actually. <laughs> Usually to the floor, not today. 20 and out here team. 
Nice control movements. That ankle is flexed up, facing the ceiling. Those hands are spread out nice and long. Touching the ceiling. Eight seconds here. Remember that head is pushed out, pushed down into the floor. Out in three. Last two. Give me one more rep here to finish us off. And time. <laughs> Good work, team. Good work as we roll off the floor. All right. The Fit Nation, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Good work today. Good work today. As always with BFit Nation and our BFit Lives, this is a great way to kick off your week, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, or in the evening, wherever you were joining us from, okay? All right. It's a great shift in our mindset to really keep ourselves accountable in living a healthy and active lifestyle with the exchange by your side every step and every rep of the way. If you need anything from us, more movements, more workouts, more nutrition tips, please, please, please visit our, visit our express stores. We have more than 450 items under our Healthier Choices program that you can surf through each aisle and find a tag that is on the shelf that will help Make your selection easier with healthier choices on the items. If you're in our exchange restaurants, more than 1,700 restaurants uh, worldwide, then uh, each one of those menus have a better for you choice on the menu. So let's start to make healthier and better decisions throughout our daily lives as we keep going and progress week after week. All right. We are with you every step of the way. Okay. Sergeant Barry, great work today. Great Thank work you. Today. I feel accomplished because. The dead bugs, those are hard for me. <laughs> and so I got them at the end. I was like, I got this. Let's keep going. Yeah. It was a great workout, Roy. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. I, you know, and I know we haven't done the dead bugs here before. Funny name, but serious, serious move. And again, it's all about control, stability, forcing our body to react in a different way. You know, and I, I always say this, every movement here uh, kind of it transforms and it, and it relates to movements outside of your workout space. So don't just think of these movements as I'm working out, um, you know, in a gym or a home setting. Each one of these movements can be applied uh, to outside of the workout space. So if it's a reverse lunge, um, you know, you're still using your glutes, your quads as if you were sitting down or if you were kneeling down to pick something up and you need to stand back up to a standing position. You know, each, each one of these movements, if it's an overhead press, if you need to put something up on the top of your shelf, so to speak, you're still using these same muscle groups and you're still using these same great practices and great form that you would inside the gym to protect yourself and keep yourself injury free, as well as prepare you for basic, basic training, if that's what it is. So uh, Sergeant Barry, I don't, I'm not sure if we want to uh, reveal the year here, but, uh, either your call here or we can leave a note in the comments below. But if you missed our challenge for you today, Sergeant Barry asked us to kind of guess the year of her basic training, her BMT shirt. What year did she get her shirt from, team? What year? Drop us a note in the comments below. Any comments here, Sergeant Barry? <laughs> no, no so, just, uh, I guess I'll reveal it. Should I just reveal it? Absolutely. Why, why not? Why not? Um, why? Yeah, absolutely. So let's, no one's going to believe me. I came in in 1998. And I'm staying around till they make me get out. <laughs> we, are, we are standing our ground here. Sergeant Barry <laughs> is standing her ground. Uh, as always, Sergeant Barry, great work, great effort, uh, great way to motivate me. I know with workout partners and, and accountability partners, battle buddies, it's all about keeping each other accountable. Don't feel like you're in this active lifestyle, this healthy um, routine by yourself. Okay, we are with you. Sergeant Barry helps keep me accountable. We keep each other accountable and push ourselves. Same uh, with you all. If you have any um, spouses or, or siblings or best friends or uh, coworkers, share this workout with your team, okay? Let's help keep each other accountable and let's keep each other on the right track, pushing forward and progressing week after week, day after day, okay? If you're looking for any more additional videos, feel free to hit our Facebook uh, videos profile um, playlist where we have our BFIT Lives cataloged throughout the, re the rest of this year and uh, the rest of last year. So we've been here almost a year now. So it's coming up on a year, I believe, next, 
next month or a month and a half, four or five, six weeks away. So I can't believe we've been uh, pushing along strong, developing ourselves, strengthening ourselves week after week with you all. So thank you for staying with us. All right, team, this is where we sign off. I'm Roy Montes, your BFIT ambassador, joined by Sarge, Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Berry. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. We were signing off. Take care, have a great day, have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>